And what do you think just in general, Cohen, about all these MAGA Republicans out there in general, from the Lauren Boeberts to the Matt Gates and, 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 and all of them? Cohen has one of the greatest responses. And of course, in my interview with him, he gives the famous Michael Cohen two finger salute. So let's bring on Michael Cohen, where he responds not just to the warning he gave Mark Meadows, and he talks about not just only the, the warning he gave to Mark Meadows, but also just these other WWE cosplay fascists in Congress. Cohen says it the best here. Let's bring him on. Play the clip. You know why? Because for the exact reasons that I had stated, that Donald Trump would be paler than Casper the ghost if, in fact, he had to go through the process the way everybody else goes through it. And Mark Meadows is not going to get the Donald J. Trump former president treatment. That I can promise you. And so this whole process is very um, gut-wrenching. And Mark Meadows is now beginning to feel the pressure that everybody else in America that ends up having any issue whatsoever, justified or not, that they go through. Mark Meadows is now feeling that pressure. And I couldn't be happier, to be honest with you, that he's feeling it. I warned that moron. I warned him when I testified before the House Oversight Committee, and he decided that he wanted to turn around and challenge when I stated that Donald Trump is a racist. And he paraded out Lynn Patton, the only biracial person that worked at the Trump organization, right, um, was, was Lynn, and to turn around and say that she's very close with Eric and with Laura Trump, so therefore Donald who hired her on behalf of the company, which is not true, it was actually Eric that hired her at my request, that clearly Donald cannot be a racist as a direct result. It's really such a stupid argument, no matter how you want to slice it, but I warn Mark Meadows, you are selling your soul to somebody who is soulless, and rest assured, what he did to me, he's going to end up doing to you, because you're not special. Did he listen to me? The answer is no. And you know what? Sometimes you got to learn your lessons there, Mark. Now, I did want to ask you something. The letter that you put up uh, from the House Caucus, that Freedom Caucus group, can we yep. post that one more time for a second? Yeah, Who signed this letter, Salty? You know, Is there a second it, it, page it, to it this? It seems to be written by on behalf of the entire Freedom Caucus, which is made up of like Gates and, and all of the kind of ultra 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 maga like they're all maga but it's that group of people who really control kevin mccarthy they're the ones who held up mccarthy's nomination so so you're gonna really tell me that they put out so they put out a document that's unsigned can you imagine i and that was the that was the point i thought maybe we were missing a second page onto it you know look this is the whole problem with the Lauren Boberts, the Marjorie Toilet Greens, the Matt Gates, the whole group of them. Right? They're they are so they're they're so entrenched and they're so knee deep into the dumpster fire of the of the Trump cult that they don't even know what the hell they're doing anymore. They don't know what they're saying. It's all how can I be more you know of a shock jock than of a congressman and the shit that they say and the stuff that they put out, they're too embarrassed to even put their names on it. Well, you know what, to each and every one of you, and you all know who you are, because I actually don't know who's fully a part of this Freedom Caucus, for you, you get the two fucking fingers salute today. Fuck you all in your stupidity. Do you not understand how precious democracy is? Do you not understand that the United States should never be an autocracy. We should never be a monarchy. And that's exactly what Donald Trump is looking to do. How stupid do you have to be to think that he will be loyal to you when he becomes the autocrat? In fact, he'll be just like Caesar was. He's going to start stabbing people and beheading people. It's going to be no different than watching the, the Handmaid's Tale when you're going to have one commander shooting and killing and throwing another commander under the bus because Donald is the ultimate alpha. He will not allow anybody else and anyone who starts to think that they too are an alpha will get the Kim Jong-un treatment of getting tied to a fucking tree and having somebody with a rocket, right? You know, shoot a rocket launcher at you, blow you and the tree up 
with, you know, while you're watching this whole thing happening, like supposedly Kim Jong-un did to his uncle. This is who Donald Trump is. And the fact that they're not able to see it, members of Congress, now, forget about the fact that whether or not he actually paid for this young girl, took her over state lines. I mean, does anything anymore preclude any of these GOP, you know, radical, ridiculous fools? Does anything preclude them anymore from running or holding office? I mean, thank goodness, at least the Queens people, right, the Long Island Queens people that are in George Santos's, um, you know, district, fortunately, they see through the fraud that this guy is, and chances are that he's going to get the shit kicked out of him at the upcoming, you know, um, election. But this is really no joke. I mean, how many George Santoses should exist in Congress? How many Matt Gaetzes, Josh Hawley's, Marjorie Taylor Greens? I mean, how many of them do we need? And the answer is zero. We don't want any of them. We really need to stop this bullshit. And that's why. You know, I say this every time, brigaders, some people love it, some people aren't so happy with it. We must ensure that a blue wave in 2024 is so significant that there is no possibility whatsoever of any of these individuals ever returning back to D.C., starting with the Mandarin Mussolini himself.